Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everyone. In this video, we're going to learn how to install Kodi on an LG Smart TV with the WebOS operating system. The first thing I have to mention is that we're going to need two things to carry out this process. The first thing, of course, is that you need an LG Smart TV connected to the Internet, and it's essential that it be a WebOS version 4.0 or later. In other words, a TV from around 2018 or later. If your TV is older than WebOS 4.0, you won't be able to perform the process as it won't be compatible. And secondly, you're going to need a PC. It doesn't matter if it's a laptop, desktop, Mac, or Windows, it makes no difference. You're going to need access to a PC. Once you have these two things, I want to point out that not all the apps in the world can be installed on our TV. But it's true that we can only install the apps that appear in the LG Content Store. So we're going to expand them and we're going to be able to install a few more. So now, once we have these things clear, uh, let's start. The first step we're going to have to perform from the PC, entering the browser and entering the address you see up there, us.lgaccount.com slash login slash sign in. You have to put it as you're seeing it anyway, down in the description. I'll leave you the link so that you can enter directly. Once you're already on the web page, what we have to do is create an LG account. So we click here where it says create account. In the following step, we're going to have to accept LG's terms and conditions. So we click here above where it says select all. We scroll down to the bottom and click on accept. Next, it will ask us to put a user ID and a password. I recommend that you put your email address here so that later there are no problems with the confirmation issue. Once we've entered the email and password, before continuing you'll have to click here where it says check availability to see if the email is valid and can be used. As you see it tells us the email is valid to use, we close, click this box here and click on confirm. As you can see in the next step. It already indicates that the LG account has been created and that we have a confirmation email in the account that we put in previously. So now we will have to go to this email and verify the account. Once you've done the step of validating your email account, you can go straight to logging in. Here, since you don't have to enter the data that we put in previously to create the account, it is very, very important that you log in. That is, you begin the session before starting the process. In other words, this step must be done no matter what. Once you have re-entered your email and password that we've previously entered, we're going to click on Remember. Click on Log In. As you can see right now, we're already inside our LG account. So for now, we're done with the PC and back to the TV. The next thing we have to do, already on the TV, is to access the LG App Store, the LG Content Store. Once inside, we're going to go to the search magnifying glass. Once here, you have to type developer mode in the search box. As you can see, by just typing developer, we get developer mode right here. You go in, and this is the app you have to install on the TV. So you go in to install it, and of course, click here where it says install. Once we have it installed, we go back to the main menu of the television, look for it, which will have stayed here on the right, and open it. As soon as you enter, you'll be asked to log in with a username and password. So, of course, we have to use the same username and password that we used previously to create our LG account. Once we have the credentials set, which I don't know if you can see, but they are there, we're going to click on the right where it says Login. It's possible that at this moment, when you have entered your username and password and have clicked on Logan, the television will show you a message like this that comes out to me, okay? That says to try again, and that to proceed, we must visit the LG Developer website, which is developer.lge.com. 
So once we get this message, it may not come out. That is, it may come out or it may not. In the event that when you click login, you get this message, we are still on the PC. Back on the PC, we are going to do what the television tells us. Enter the website of developer.lga.com. Once you're on the website, the first thing you have to do is select this option from here, the one that says WebOS TV. Click on it, and as you can see, it takes you to another website. Here we'll have to go to the top, right where it says Sync In. As you can see, it directs us to a web page very, very similar to the one we had before, if not exactly the same. Here again, we have to input the username and password that we've created. Once we have that, we click on Sync In again. And as you can see, a pop-up message appears here on the left, in which we have to click on Add LG Service. Now, as you can see, we're going to accept everything. We scroll down, we accept. It'll ask for a username or a nickname. We'll keep trying until it allows us to put one. As you can see, this one is available. We click to close and save. Now, as you can see, I'm already registered on the WebOS TV developer website, and I'm logged in, since it says sync out here. I'm logged into my account. Once we've done this, we can go back to the TV. Now, back on this screen, we re-enter the password, and once we have it, we click on login again. As you can see, it has now moved on to the next step, so as I said, you may or may not get a login error. If you do get it, remember to perform that second step on your PC. This screen displays various information. On one side, here to the left, we have information about our TV. It tells us whether it's connected wirelessly or by cable, along with the IP. As you can see, in my case, it's connected by cable and not via Wi-Fi. Another important section is this one here where it says passphrase. In this case, you won't be seeing anything because I'm hiding it because this is important. This that appears here, and we will need it later to install applications. But this phrase or numeric code is important and we cannot reveal it. Having said that, on this page, the first thing we need to do is click here and change the death mode status from off to on. Once you do this, the TV will restart. As you can see, the device will reboot when switching to death mode status. So let's press restart and wait for the TV to turn back on. Once the TV is restarted and we're back to the main menu, we go right again and reopen the developer mode application. As you can see, it takes us directly to it and shows that death mode status is on. And as you can see, a counter has appeared that shows how long our session will remain open or logged in in developer mode. As you can see, it shows 999 hours and 56 minutes, which means it will stay open for 1000 hours. Don't worry, it doesn't mean that it will close at the end of this time and you won't be able to get back in. From here, where it says extend session time, you can click. And this number, as you'll see now, extends and changes back to 59. In other words, each time you enter and click here, the hours will add up again. In other words, don't worry, just being a little attentive is all you need. Next, we need to activate the case server on this screen, so we're going to click here and turn it on. Now once you're at this point with these two options enabled, it's important to note down both the IP address and the passphrase. Although you're not seeing anything, something is actually written here below. Make sure to note these two things down because we're going back to the PC and you'll need them. But remember to leave this screen as is, that is, leave the TV as you have it and don't exit the application. So, as I just mentioned, we're going back to the PC and we're going to have to download an application called Dev Manager Desktop. You can find it here on this website that you're seeing up above. Don't worry, I'm also going to leave it in the description. Here you'll have to select the application or version that corresponds to your operating system. On this website, we must scroll down and look here where it says Releases. 
Once you click, you'll see the latest version is 1, 13.3. We scroll down and we'll have to download the version that corresponds to our operating system, as I said. In this case, I have Mac, so I'm going to download the DMG, that's for Mac OS operating systems. If you have Windows, you'll have to download your version, either 32-bit or 64-bit. In any case, regardless of your operating system, you open the application, and as you can see on the first screen, it's going to ask us to select what mode we want to use. We select the first one, use developer mode, and hit next. The next step you can directly skip, we've already done everything, we can hit skip without any issue, and here as you're seeing it's going to ask us what I've asked you to note down before, the IP address and the passphrase. You can give it a name if you want, in this case I'm going to put LG OLED CX which is mine, and we're going to enter the data that I've asked you to note down and that the TV app has given us. and once you have both pieces of data entered, click on Finish. As you can see, after a moment of loading, our television appears and a series of options. Once we reach this point, it's very simple. We just have to click up where it says Available, scroll down to the bottom, and as you can see here in the center, we are going to have the Kodi application. We're simply going to click on it, click where it says Install, Wait a moment for it to load, and after a moment, as you can see, it is ready to use. Once we return to the TV, we can exit the developer mode menu, press the house again, return to home, and if everything has worked well, then here to the right, we should already have the Kodi icon. So let's go in and see a little bit if it works. As you can see, the application opens without any problem. It's asking us now if we want to put some add-ons. We are going to say no because we don't want these. No, 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 no. And as you can see, the application is fully functional. We can enter any of the sections, and in your case, add everything you want. Well guys, this is the end of the video. I hope I've been able to help you. If so, don't forget to leave me a good like, which is super important as well as subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. For my part, nothing more. As always, a pleasure. See you in the next video.